Well, hot, dry weather will continue over southeast Texas over the next several days as high pressure continues to control our weather. Look for hot, humid, dry conditions through Saturday. An isolated thunderstorm will be possible though late in the weekend into early next week. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Otherwise, it's going to be even hotter, more humid, and even drier as we head into next week. That outdoor forecast for your Wednesday. And we'll keep rain chances out. Highs in the upper 90s. Heat index 110 to 115. The winds will be out of the southwest and south in the afternoons. Not very strong yet, but I think it'll pick up a little bit, hopefully, in the next couple of days. Now, seven day temperatures compared to normal. We're going to be running above normal, mid to upper 90s, more like upper 90s. That's four to five degrees above normal. Lows, same thing, upper 70s, near 80 for lows. And those are above normal, too, coming up over the next seven days. Rain chances, well, not much there. It's high pressure is the main weather story. No rain at all through Saturday. And we'll have an isolated thunderstorm possible late Sunday into Monday as a disturbance works in from the north and then hot and dry for much of next week. So and here's a look at the upper air pattern. Of course, high pressure is located over El Paso. That's the main core of the high. Now the ridge extends eastward into central and parts of uh, East Texas and we're close enough to it. We're shutting down our rain chances even along the sea breeze today. Strong disturbance moving out of Oklahoma next several days. Well, that's still high pressure as you see here. Now as we head into Sunday, talked about this a moment ago, high pressure backs up just a tad to the west. Not much, but hopefully just enough as the disturbance comes down from the north. We'll have a few thunderstorms possible late Sunday into Monday. We're only talking a 10 to 20% coverage right now, but I think the main focus of rain will be farther from the high over to our east in Louisiana. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hopefully that'll happen. And then high pressure rebuilds as we head into next week. Be located over Oklahoma. They'll finally start drying out after a wet summer so far. See the ridge of high pressure ridges all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, back into New Mexico and Arizona. And notice, you're not going to see much rain with that, that's for sure. Future cast tonight, warm and humid, low temperatures as we talked about, upper 70s, close to 80. Very, very warm and humid out there. We'll keep the rain chances out tonight. And even at midnight, we're still talking low 80s in a few spots. Midnight and after, Matt, still warm, upper 70s, close to 80. You get the Get the idea here and as we head into tomorrow warms up quick, maybe an isolated shower well to our north. We're talking lakes area north, maybe a 10% coverage, but that's pretty slim as a disturbance passes well off to the northeast. We'll keep most of the area dry. Once again, highs tomorrow around 97, 98 degrees. So it's going to be a hot afternoon. Pretty much zero rain chances over the next several days. And even tomorrow evening will slowly start dropping only into the low 80s. So the warm, humid nights will continue as well. Marine forecast out there now. Winds are pretty breezy. Water temps at 87. We'll have southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Some gust at times up to about 25. Tonight, lakes and triangle will keep rain out. Lows upper 70s near 80. And for your Wednesday, partly sunny, hot, and humid. Southwest winds pretty light, but coming south late in the day. Highs in the upper 90s, 97, 98 once again across southeast Texas. Hot weather get used to it. We're in the middle of July. It's summer. It's going to be hot. Next three days, no rain. Highs around 97, 98. Lows in the upper 70s, close to 80. And as we head into the weekend, overall, it's going to be dry. We got that 10% coverage there Sunday and Monday. Pretty slim. We showed you that disturbance coming underneath the ridge of high pressure. Only a 10% coverage, but at least it's something because next week's nothing. Hot and dry. Monday through Friday of next week, even hotter, upper 90s, and upper 70s for lows. So heat continues and will continue for the next week and a half. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and anything weather 24 hours a day. Be sure to join us at 12newsnow.com.